Hey traders, this is my Friday morning video. I'm doing it uh, around midnight here. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen by tomorrow morning. Everything could change and stuff. Uh, right below us here on TLT, uh, we got another single print area below us. A little bit lower here, right here. This is our critical support. Uh, so bottom line is we hold this level right here on our bonds. It's probably going to be supported in the markets. Uh, we haven't broken that critical support yet, so that's... Says, you know, we know it's going to be a holiday shortened day and volumes are, are going to be likely for pretty light. But we do have a little bit of selling pressure in our bonds. We came into critical resistance. Uh, your trend line changes a little bit with costs if you're on the lower time frames. Uh, but we have single prints right here. That means that there were very light volume to take this up into this higher distribution. And then when, once they came down, down through it, it came through with very light volume. So but that's how you call it, single prints. So basically, uh, it's a sign of buyer exhaustion in the markets. You know, that's one of your your textbook signs, possible buyer exhaustion in the markets. If you go over here on a four hour, you can see a little bit better here. See this downtrend line, or if you can even go out in the daily, it's a two year downtrend line. Critical uh, first major test since the uh, first part of July here on the bond market. You know, and <clears throat> we're seeing a little bit of uh, signals here. Showing a little bit of weakness here. Uh, so we're currently trading uh, right below the uh, uh, 21 SMA uh, to start the session. Uh, so we be quite mindful of that here on our bonds. So that's one of our major things we got to really wor worry about today. Qs. Okay. We'll go over here in the 30 minutes again on that. Uh, I'm not going to go through a lot of charts here. I just want to go through that. I mean, looking for possible uh, reversal signals. So we had a massive rally right out of the gate there Friday. It got rejected. I actually loaded the boat to the short side. Uh, I started right around here, but then I really loaded up a few of highs. So I had a nice little trade. I just actually traded it back down to the bottom of the red zone, not realizing that we were just going to come crashing down. Uh, but I made a, I had a nice day Friday, hit my targets and stuff. Uh, my weekly target actually in that little bitty move on this little part of the move. But we have single prints. Uh, so this was a complete and total rejection area. And that's what I was identifying, how fast the unit went up. There were these single prints below. So that's why I start, started loading up to the short side above these single prints, which proved to be uh, still very valid, even into the end of the day, uh, suggesting this is an exhaustion rally. It's suggestion, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, we're currently in the pre market up. Uh, you know, in a in a, uh, a pre market over overseas, we are currently up. I don't know where we're going to open tomorrow morning, but we are trading below a real large block uh, transaction. We don't know if it's buying or selling, but there was a very large block transaction that, that did hit uh, Friday, uh, suggesting that some smart money may have been exiting stage left uh, the markets. And we are below the uh, developing uh, volume point of control. So that means 70% uh, of the volume, we are on the bearish side of the inventory from Friday. Going with, so we were technically a little bit on the bearish side on the queue going into uh, tomorrow's session initially here. So be mindful of that with what's going on with the, with the bonds and where we're relatively positioned here on tech. You know, you might want to be leaning a little bit more to the bearish side, maybe some profit taking at the very least, looking for a gap fill, you know, uh, here on the uh, on tech here to kick off the session uh, 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 tomorrow morning. Spy, not necessarily is uh, uh, easily. We're right into critical resistance. OK, uh, single prints are way up here. Hey, I can't really put the rectangle on this. It doesn't show up on toss. The only thing I can do is uh, I can have my pin go in here if I can get it to load real quick. Doesn't take very long to load it. Yeah, it didn't take very long. Good. Uh, if you put a little rectangle right there, right this area right here, this is your single print area. Okay. So buyers just got completely shut off. And you notice how that width right there, you know, that lines right up with that. So, you know, that suggests, and it doesn't mean for sure, but it suggests buyer exhaustion in the markets. We're into a resistance zone. And single prints above, and this is a completed bell curve pattern. You know, that's another thing to think about. You know, a lot of times you'll have continuation, continuation until you actually see the final exhaustion 
uh, prints, which we do currently have. So be mindful of that. Now, unfortunately, we are a little bit on the bullish side relative to Friday's volume. So, we, you know, if we come in tomorrow morning, really early, breaking the four, uh, 455.20 area, very early on in the session, I would be pointing to the downside on SPY. Okay. So definitely keep that one on watch. And I'm going to go through one more chart, try to keep this really short here. And I could be dead wrong here, you know. But uh, I just, volume profile, this is what it is telling me. Okay, uh, IWM. Okay, this one here is flat on the week. Yes, that's hard to believe. Uh, this was our last week's close. Uh, we're, we're right hovering around last week's close. We've gone absolutely nowhere uh, versus last week. If I uh, go ahead and erase that rectangle, see how we have the single prints up here? This the, There was absolutely zero appetite Friday in IWM up here. You had single prints uh, up here. So this entire area up here was rejected, okay? Uh, uh, I'll put this on here, okay? So we know that, you know, this this area here is very troublesome. Uh, as of Friday, that was a problem, a uh, problem for IWM. So be, be very mindful of that. We're already, like I said, flat on the week here. Uh, you know, uh, bottom line is if the bonds were to start losing that support area, knowing that we're in a really critical support area, uh, I would be looking for IWM possibly to be rejecting back to the uh, lows of the week. So that's what I'd be I'd be identifying real quick here. Uh, where where is the weekly low? You know that would be my uh, primary thesis. You know on the bearish side in the markets, I would be looking at this here. Oh, we got single print down here, so I would be looking down here in this area right here, the 177.40 area, potentially for a downside move. Uh, potentially here. I mean, that's not too far from the weak lows down here. Uh, so just keep that one on watch here. <clears throat> so uh, bottom line is we are in, like I said, we're in a uh, distribution bell curve pattern right here. The kind of the, this is one side of the single print. This is the other side. So we're trading right at the peak of what you know the weekly bell curve basically. I got yeah I got this on the one hour. So the one hour is actually showing you how the bell curve is building out for the week. Okay. If you take it down to 30 minutes, then that's actually going to give you uh, the daily bell curve. And prices, you know, we was pretty much hanging out right here in the middle uh, as of Friday's uh, session. You know, no directional bias whatsoever on the Russell. Uh, but, you know, basically I would be eyeing, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the lower end of this if the bonds continue to sell down. Or even break out critical support that I showed you a minute ago. Well, that's all I got to really say here. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, I just know a lot of things. We fi we filled the gap on Google. I mean, Google would be something I'd be looking for, maybe for a reversion back. But a lot of these tech names. Uh, one of them that really stood out to me, and I will do that one real quick, Adobe. I looked at that. Uh, you go out here on a daily time frame. And look at this. Uh, was it Adobe, I think? I think it was Adobe I was looking at. Yeah, maybe it wasn't Adobe. There was one of these I was looking at that really was just... Uh, one second, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, to finish it off here, I was looking at Broadcom. You see this weekly candle on Broadcom? Right here at Critical uh, uh, Trendline Resistance. That one there really caught my attention. Uh, Broadcom has be, has had a massive rally uh, in this market. So that's one I would be really keeping a close eye on. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. And I will see you in the trading rooms. Uh, I will be uh, live, uh, possibly at Discord. Sometimes I actually run into a Discord at my, in a different group. So, you know, I'm running my charts in a different group, so I can't go live. But uh, I'll, I will have the Zoom uh, link in my Discord. I'll have the... Link below uh, this video on Twitter, um, uh, you know, on at the bottom of my YouTube link uh, video. Uh, you guys can enter my uh, Discord if you want. Uh, it's all free, and we have a Slack group as well. Uh, that they're more swing traders. If you guys want to enter the Slack group, group, you just have to let me know. And uh, I'm actually solely uh, sticking to day trades. That's my uh, thing. And I do call my trades out as I go, give you some ideas. Some not saying you should take my trade, just giving you an idea of what I'm looking to do in the markets.
Okay, thanks a lot. Oops, hit the wrong button.